Hello everybody. Well, uh, yesterday I got a new uh, Wither Armor and actually was waiting to get this one. Uh, it is amazing and uh, I really like the Wither Armors. But this one actually wanted to fit different type of things and kind of uh, cramp them all together uh, to form a new build. Which kind of very make everything very, very easy. Kind of walk in the park. So basically, this combined um, uh, the Bubble Burster, which I know I love. I use it in many, um, many builds. Uh, and it's also glitchy as you know because again it can be further buffed with damage reduction and this one has damage reduction we also have here iron Nut amulet uh, and of course we have potion barrier which also increased of course the damage reduction so to, this will increase the damage of the bubble bow uh the bubble bow the bubble burster and um i also use curse text this is not the best one but the other one i have on another character uh, so basically if you want to further increase the damage of the bubble burster uh, you want to have refreshment all right so we can actually have the healing potion available for you more often all right but for here i don't use it all right and in general i tried my best not to uh take advantage too much of uh glitchy things <laughs> i have actually with um, a mystery armor which i posted about in the comment section not in the comment in the community but i never use it because it's just too glitchy and i know people won't be able to get it and then i just have like uh 100 people emailing yeah sending me messages about it so i decided not to share it just yet anyway so this of course to increase the damage uh, we use a voice strike as well um because we have the Alverster, and that's why you no know, uh, the previous build I created. <coughs> sorry, with Alverster, so I actually wanted um, final shot and soul focus. So I actually got it here, which was perfect. So I have soul focus and um, final shot. So this is just perfect and multi roll to further take advantage of both the damage and the crowd control abilities of the bubble burster. So I can use it more often right so this is like a perfect armor for this build right so let's check out some gameplay all right so again remember there are two things to remember you can roll very often with this build uh and this means uh this is going to chain lots of damage and also insane fun control enemies will also cramp up together to attack each other so what will happen that the chain reaction will also make sure that many of the uh, arrows that actually spread apart will actually hit enemies right so I'm dealing lots of damage while rolling and having great crowd control. I stun enemies for a long time. This, of course, reduces the damage significantly uh, by just not letting enemies attack me. And also buys me a lot of time. But again, this is very aggressive type of build. All right. So as you can see, the ability to roll, that's why I wanted multi-roll on the armor. which was very important for me. I really don't want to just roll and just wait for the other roll. And even fast roll uh, is not enough for me. I really want, like before i engage in a group kind of really kind of a roll fast several times uh, deal much damage in, remove all the little enemies you know that kind of we don't want to deal with them so just let the arrows deal with them then focus on the bigger enemies so again you have so much volume coming out from the bubble burster bow and keep in mind when i activate uh will activate the healing potion uh, i'm going to deal millions of damage uh, by just rolling with the arrows now, if you really want to do lots of damage, activate your potion, adjust wall, and then you're going to deal tons of damage. Uh, of course, Iron Adam will be activated most of the time. I don't have any uh, cooldown here, uh, but again, the difference between the cooldown time uh, and the time that this ability is activated, the duration is actually very small. So, most of the time, you actually have it active. But this bow is not about, it's not a cooldown bow. I don't actually need this benefit in this build. The most benefit I get is just crowd control, dealing lots of damage while actually rolling. And uh, yeah, that's it. There's lots of damage both with your melee weapon. And most of the time you're going to see that I'm actually just rolling. Because just so much benefit from rolling. So as often as I can, I don't even need to hit enemies with uh, the melee weapon at all. If there are many situations like that. As you can see, I'm just deleting all the small ones. Especially if they are grouped together. Of course, I can use the Harvester if I like, yeah. Sometimes I will use it. If I get low, by the way, of course, the Harvester will explode. So if there's lots of enemies around me, I can hit them and avoid striking, uh, avoiding strike with um, 
ensure that I deal even more damage both on the melee and the explosion so this is just great lots of damage this makes everything kind of a walk in the park as I told you if you really want to get uh, the refreshment uh, the sorry the healing potion available to you more often uh, choose one with a refreshment the thing to note here that they're using using a, uh, uh, any double X variation will be fine, of course. A double X or its unique variation is because I want voice spike to hit all enemies around me because the harvester, when it's uh, causing the explosion, it hits enemies all around me. So basically, I want to make sure that when I hit, the void strike will actually affect all enemies around me, especially when I group up. Yeah, so although I didn't put all the kind of the best composition of enchantments here, uh, they, this, you can play with this. But this Wither Armor is just perfect and it combines different type of builds into one, right? The glitchy, uh, the Bubble Burster if you want to use it. But again, remember, Refreshment will be better for you so you can actually activate it often. Bubble Burster in general is amazing, glitchy or without glitch is absolutely amazing. Uh, because you're going to do lots of damage with this. Uh, we're going to stun enemies for a long time, cause them to attack each other. Uh, and overall, it's a very sturdy and durable build with lots of damage, makes everything a walk in the park. So. This is the build. Uh, I'll be dropping the Wither Armor, by the way, uh, for those who want uh, in the Discord channel. So uh, make sure you ask. I, I'm not going to be there all day dropping it. Keep this in mind. You sometimes ask me all day long, send me messages. I can't really stay on Discord all the time to drop it. But just give me a message. If I'm available, I'll make sure to drop you this Wither Armor. It's absolutely insane for this kind of uh, build that combines really benefits for many type of builds that I created this week. So until the next one, I see you on the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Cheers. Bye-bye.